right, today we are talking about hair and getting to the root of why it seems like everyone's got an opinion about yours, mine, and everyone else's. Beauty writer Blake Newby and Dr. Okara Kay are still here with us. Now, be honest, show of hands, how many of you felt a little panic when you found your first gray? Now, I saw one woman in the back. She was like, I'm embracing it now. But she was a little, she said, first gray, you will never see my gray. And let's be clear about that. I have seen it. It has disappeared. It comes back. And we vanquish it again and again. So there you have it. My confessions are I dye my hair, I color my hair, and I relax my hair. I am prepared for all the tweets and judgment. But this is who I am, and I'm not going to change it. We've all heard for men, gray hair looks distinguished. They say, you know, you look so, you look Sean Connery-esque when you're a man and you have gray hair. But when my next guest tried to embrace their gray, they said that they received less than positive reactions. And they're part of a growing wave of women who are saying, enough. It is time to ditch the dye and embrace natural <laughs> salt and pepper. Trust us. But that's not always easy. We know that. Joining us from Madison, New Jersey, Carly Reardon, she was featured in the Wall Street Journal saying that she has gray days over her gray hair and negative comments can leave her feeling very alone. And Erin Mercedes from Westchester, New York, who's built a following on Instagram for celebrating her silver curls despite being told that she is, quote, letting herself go. You want to see them? Here they are. Come on out, Carly and Erin. That was Rick Nobby. getting all up in here, gorgeous. All right, see, I would keep my gray if it looked like that. <laughs> Carly, yours has come in so silky. And, and like a streak. How old are you? I'm 33. 33, when did you uh, notice your first gray? I remember finding a couple in my late teens, around like 19, but I didn't really fully 19. embrace it. Did your parents gray early? Because I hear that that the doctor is here. Is, is gray hereditary how early you gray? It can be. It can be. So you're 19 and you got your first gray. I think the one or two, maybe it's just because I'm type A and highly stressed. Maybe I <laughs> caused the grays to come in nice and early. But I didn't really fully embrace them until I was in my mid-20s when it got to the point where I thought, I can't keep plucking them. There's no So you would pluck back. them out? Yeah, it was like a couple here or there. But then it turned into this, and I thought, if I keep plucking, I'm going to have a hole. Oh, well. Okay, so th that's, I love, d you know, myths and truths. So, so, doctor, so gray can be hereditary. Does stress cause gray? So stress can cause a lot of things. Yeah, it does. It, it, it can, um, you know, cause gray hair as well for some folks. But, again, I think it's really dependent it depends. on each What person. about if we pluck them, does more come? Because I was always told if you pull a gray out, more comes. Is that true? No. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Well, That's Carly. A no. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> so, um, how old were you when you said, "Okay, I'm not going to even try to color this. I'm embrace it." So, for a while, I was parting my hair on the side so yeah. the streak was covered, yeah. and then the streak got bolder and bolder. And as I was blow drying my hair one day, I thought, "Maybe I'll try a middle part." Yeah. Kind of inspired by Stacey London, I was like, yeah. "I think it can be a streak." Yeah. And so I just went with it and kind of never looked back. That's amazing. Karen, of course. <laughs> I, I, I'm sitting here looking at the things that people have said, and uh, by no means is this look anything other than greatness. I mean... <laughs> it's, it's been amazing making You fun. dyed your hair... You started to go gray at 39? Was it about 39, you said? I started going gray when I was 30. 30? And then I decided, like, okay, I stopped relaxing it. Mm -hmm. And then I, I... Oh, wow. So that's your... Is that... Were you coloring it that... I was coloring you it. You were coloring it then? Coloring it. Yes. And then, so this is with color, this is without? Without color. Yeah. Did your hair gray gently, or did you just like, hey, girl, I'm here? <laughs> It, used, it started growing from the roots, and that's when I decided, like, okay, I'm going to start coloring it. Uh -huh. And then when I actually decided to let go of the dye and embrace the gray, um, I didn't want to do the demarcation line. Like, I was afraid to look, like, with the black and the white. Right. And so I was like, oh, let me find a colorist, because my stylist said, no, no, you don't do that. Don't do it. It's going to damage your hair. I found myself a colorist, and... Um, 
during the consulta consultation, she told me like, oh, it's gonna take a couple of steps. But then the first time I went in, I left with my hair damaged. Really? Oh. It was breaking, um, like a spaghetti, it felt like spaghetti. So the, the, the coloring of the hair damaged your hair? The, she bleached it and put the something process, in the, the processing. Process, the so process. whatever it was, the, oh wow. So, so because of the day, oh that my was gosh. was like two days after, yeah. That, that was two days after, after you got a process went, on your hair. And then I went to my um, stylist and she just cut it and then I kept cutting it because yeah. it kept breaking. Yes. Wow. So you went from this to this, all abandoning processing your hair. Okay, I may not process my hair anymore. Well, <laughs> you're going to stick around. Carly and Aaron are going to share how they shut down their shamers and the gray-haired gals, as that says there. Uh, talk about um, how they've embraced it and really supporting other women who have gone gray. We'll be right back. If you never colored your hair again, if you never got your nails done, if you never wore eyelash extensions, if you never got fillers or Botox, you never wore compression clothing, you never tried to accentuate things or hide the parts that were considered flaws, you never covered a sunspot. Do you believe you are worthy of love? If not, where did you learn that? Welcome back. That was Dr. Amanda Hansen, also known as the Midlife Muse on social media. She's encouraging women to embrace their natural beauty. I am back with beauty writer Blake Newby and Dr. Okarake. Also still with us is Carly Reardon, and she was featured in the Wall Street Journal, and Erin Mercedes, who has a social media following of more than 17,000 people celebrating her silver curls. Thank you all for sticking around for this hour. This is really good. Um, Carly, in the Wall Street Journal, you called your hair, your gray hair, the differentiator. What does that mean? So, I mean, I'm kind of your typical cookie cutter. I'm a brunette, boring. There's like not that much interesting about me. I'm, there's, I'm a dime a dozen on Instagram. And I honestly feel like my silver hair kind of makes me stand out. Yeah. And it is one of the first things people say to me, yeah. maybe negative or positive, of like, oh, you don't dye your hair. Yeah. And it, to me, I'm like, oh, this is like finally yeah, something interesting. You're saying they won't forget you. Yeah, yeah, you I, won't forget you met me. Yeah, and I also, I just like love it. I don't feel like you see a lot of people in their like early 30s who aren't coloring their hair. Yeah, you see people like purposely dyeing their hair gray. That was like a big. That's trend a huge for a while. trend. Yeah, I've seen but that. I feel like there's just not a lot of examples of of what naturally gray hair looks like. Looks like. 33-year-old woman. You know, Anna, you were Latina growing up. Um, your hair was long, dark, straight, and and. You are still some as confident as you are. It still kind of bugs you, obviously, um, some of these comments, and even within the family, within the culture. So one of the first comments I received when I decided to go gray was like, "Oh, but your husband is younger than you. Like, you're not afraid that he's not going to love you because of you know you decided to embrace the gray." And so I was at the point where my hair was short. And I, like my confidence was on the floor yeah. because I thought that all that black hair was my superpower. Ah. So like, you know, like my hair was short, uh -huh. embracing gray, and then this type of comments just like, um, I understand what you're saying. I, I remember me. when I started uh, MSNBC in 2008, I lived in Chicago for 10 years and my hair was always celebrated. People loved my short hair. I got to network news and the comments that I received about having short hair, people um, said I was gay. I remember reading it. I read your comments. Um, and they said I was lazy. Um, all of these things, I, this because Twitter was just starting to take off, and suddenly everything about me was identified by my short hair. If you look me up, Tamron Hall, 2008, I started to grow my hair out to this tragic-looking bob, and it was not me. And I said, after a year, I was like, this isn't me. I love my short, short hair. And if it makes you feel a way, then that's you. And I, I called Johnny, and I was like, go back to my short hair. Um, Carly, I know you got married. Yes. What year was it? 2020. We had a little backyard I pandemic love that. wedding. And you made a big decision not to color your hair for the wedding. You look so beautiful there. Thank you. But I did my own hair and makeup. Like, to me, it wasn't a big decision because it th that is who I am. And yeah. I, like, you know, hopefully. And I, my I love that because that's your it. biggest beauty day and yeah. you kept it authentic to who you wanted yes. to be. Yeah. I you. love that. Yeah. Everyone was like pressuring me to dye my hair. And I thought, well, I hope my husband knows what he's getting into yeah. because this is who I am. Like I'm not showing up on our wedding day as someone else. Right. I hope he's You're ready like, to marry me. This is who you got.